We were back in school on December 3rd, and we had 300 students in uh, six classrooms. There's some real resilience in younger kids, but they are so much attuned to the adults in their lives that if we've got struggles at home, that's going to impact the kids. I think students put on a good face with her at school. They didn't let their guard down. But I know, hearing from parents, there are a lot of students who are very angry. Why? Why did they lose their home? Why are they in their current living situation? With the mental health needs, what you see is young kids, first, second grade, who are coming to school just so overwhelmed still, now almost a year later, that they're just not caring as much about their academic work, not caring as much about recess, not caring as much about friends. The impact is just, it's long-term and it's deep. If students' social and emotional concerns are not addressed, if they're not stable in those areas, uh, academic learning is not going to happen. We have people in 30 different campuses and they're touching hundreds of kids every day. It was wonderful to have these counselors come in that maybe they didn't experience trauma firsthand, so they were more present and available for staff, parents, and for students. We would not have been able to do this work without the um, support of the California Fire Foundation, of Governor Newsom and his efforts, and of the California Rises concert and the donors to that concert. We're deeply grateful for that.